Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. I just want to say a quick thank you. I don't like to spend so much on my intros, but just thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I don't say it enough. I should be saying it every video, but I just go straight to the reading. Thank you so much. Also for those that have been reaching out for me um, on my Etsy shop, through my Etsy shop, I like it when you reach out through the Etsy shop because it's like a I just, um, it's like texting to me because I, I communicate through my phone um, when you communicate through there. So thank you, those that have reached out and that has that have purchased, thank you so much for, you know, inquiring or for purchasing. I've had a lot uh, recently, it must be Saturn moving forward, I'm thinking, but Anyways, thank you so much. I know it's difficult to even trust somebody with your energy because there is so many people out there, you know, and there's a lot of people that also give, you know, free readings. Okay, um, I do free readings once in a while and I'll usually put it on my post, but because I have such, I have a full-time job, so that's why I choose <laughs> to do it like once a month or so, but anyways let's just get started here um i will be doing a free reading pretty soon so just keep that in mind so we have the gold heart red heart green heart and blue heart here okay so let's get started okay we'll start with the gold heart oh i always start on this side <laughs> for some reason let's see I forgot. Okay. Anyways, a gold heart. Okay. So let's see what we have here. We're going to do how they see you first and then their intentions and see what we have. Okay. How they see you first. Wow. Okay. Let me start over here. I feel like they see you, you know, very loving, very caring, very, uh, the moon is standing out. So I feel like they feel this love from you all the time when they're with you. I feel like when they're with you, like you're somebody that shares um, love, expresses their love or somebody that just gives their love very freely. Um, they feel very, com they feel comfort here, comfort with you. I don't know why this is standing out more than this here. <laughs> the little two cats here, I keep pointing at it because it's standing out the most, which is weird. I feel like they're very connected because you see this red. Every time there's a red ribbon, there is this very special bond, powerful bond between you and them okay so and they feel it they feel that connection so there could be also like unconditional love i i hope they didn't take you for granted but if you just met this person they do feel that comfort that warmth from you that deep connection you both have had a deep connection or you might have you might have it in the near f future because I don't want to pinpoint if this is old or new. I don't know. Okay. So I feel like you're even very giving to those that you don't even know. That's the kind of love that you give. Okay. That you give to others or and to them very freely. But also very passionate. Very maybe even into music. Maybe even into music. Very passion. You give into passion. You have this... Um, Maybe you're very creative too because music does bring creativity. Um, the vibration that you carry here. Maybe you get excited for music or you get excited um, creating something of yourself. I feel like you're very creative and fun. Like your vibration is just your... Um, you can feel your vibration here. Very passionate. You might have something maybe you love music or you both love the same kind of music or they just they're on the same frequency as you and they love that about you you bring this um passion this force into their life i i hate to sound cliche 
but it's very deep a, a lot of red in these two cards alone yeah and then we have fire so there is a lot of passion here okay um hopefully i don't get flagged because i just noticed that that right there <laughs> i didn't even notice that until right now um so she who creates yeah very creative see this is just um confirmation you're a very creative person they see you i feel like they that's what they love about you so i don't know there is something here about um music because she's also carrying what is that called i don't know but it's a, a, a instrument there i don't know what it's called oh i forgot what it was called but anyways um yeah maybe you're very spontaneous but you're very original like if um this this person here uh is not gender specific but if you are if you do wear makeup you know um you get really into it you know you're very unique you could be just somebody that just stands out from someone else or other people that they know or if they've dated um also with the way that you're dressing you present your well your yourself well or you're very fun you dress very fun as it does not matter what age you are because the person i go to to um, to do my hair she is way older than me i don't want to be mean <laughs> uh, but she's an older lady and she dresses i love her style she is like um emo punk kind of um vibe i love it um and she has like these white white hair but that's why i go to her because she's so down to earth so it doesn't matter how old you are you might dress something like that very um you know into style very creative with your wardrobe that's what i'm getting very original too like you don't copy others you you just put in your your touch mm -hmm. your creative touch yeah very original yeah so let's see but it doesn't just have to be like in creative dressing or anything like that or music maybe you love dancing maybe you um tambourine that's what it is sorry i've been <laughs> wasn't letting me letting me um i needed to um it's a tambourine yeah anyways <laughs> so maybe you like cooking or doing something with your hands writing singing i don't know but you just stand out your vibration is way different royalty okay i love that because you do carry yourself as royalty maybe you're a leader it says you have royalty qualities that command power and causes extreme reaction you're either loved or hated challenging them to become better so maybe you challenge this person to become better you bring out something in them that they never saw before maybe um they were always shooting for something lower like for example i had i dated someone before where they were always shooting for um these positions these job positions that were very low but then you i brought something out like no apply for this job over here or this job you would be good at this or you know like maybe you challenge them to become better to um so you have that vibe there mm -hmm. like you really inspire them or challenge them or maybe even um you're very um i don't know you carry this leadership quality because you probably give into your passions you live your passion whatever you feel you go for it that's how what i have here <laughs> that's crazy i just see a leo here or maybe leo is your seventh house why does i feel like the the first pile gives me that kind of vibe like fire vibe and we have king of wands but because of the passion 
um, here. Yeah, you're probably an air sign or your seventh house is an air sign here. Seventh house, yeah. I thought it was... A <laughs> Anyways. So we have the king of wands and the queen of wands. So you do. You have this, this passion within you. But... The, well, the King of Wands is someone that is um, very inspiring, very powerful, very, it uh, could be like, a, um, sets, sets the bar up, like, they are a leader, they are very, um, how do I say, ambitious, they could be ambitious, they could be very um, inspiring, mm -hmm. and I feel like you do inspire this person with your creative ways. So they see you as somebody that is um, very confident, too, on what you do. Very confident. And then we have the Queen of Wands. And sometimes the King of Wands, though, can be so passionate that they actually argue with such passion, you know. Because we have the Queen of Swords here. So the Queen of Swords could bring out this, um, how do I say... Um, drama and dramatic but it kind of seems like they love that about you because you're very passionate about what you think what you say you say it with a, a good like with passion because you're so into it I feel uh, whatever they love about you like you are you Let's see, Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is reasonable, but is very truthful. They don't BS. They don't, they're very open and upfront, direct, very, could be a very strong character. You could be a very strong character with these two together here, okay? But you see things from a, like a open, how do I say? You're still like willing to work and compromise and stuff but they have to come to you very clear and they know that and they they there is a part of them that loves that about you that you're very clear and direct and that they cannot bs you yeah <laughs> it reminds me of that book um why men love witches <laughs> yeah it's yeah anyways so yeah they they love your passion that's for sure that is something very strong in this pile let's see what are their intentions i'm going to pop in and out of your life whenever i please Ooh, but i don't like that oh sorry i have a little moth in here i'm going to put on a show to make you jealous and this person is very immature if you ask me um but they're going to put on a show to make you jealous. This person wants to know how much you are um, invested in them. Because when somebody does that, they want to know. They want a reaction from you. So if they want a reaction for you, from you, try not to give in. Because I feel like you do give in to this. And um, it's a bit immature, way too immature. One thing that I've learned a couple years ago is that it doesn't matter how old they are, how old someone is, they are still still have these little. They feel like they're techniques, and it doesn't matter what gender it is. It's like this technique of theirs, but mm -mm, I don't like it. Okay. So let's see. Um, let me grab a tarot deck real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot my tarot deck. Let's see. What do we have here? Any extra messages that this pilot needs to know about this person they're thinking about? So, either this, oh, okay. So there's going to be like this breakthrough here. If you're not talking to this person or maybe they're just holding back from you, 
there will be some kind of wanting to manifest something but there could be some inconsistency here because they might be juggling we have it here too courtship so sometimes they will oh for some of you they're gonna actually break out of some kind of cycle it's a possibility here because we have breakthrough and juggling and then courtship but remember their intentions okay they're gonna put on a show but i feel like you need to be very careful of you know reacting to it um yeah they might want to know if you're interested in them um but they could be juggling not knowing this inconsistency i feel like juggling here is more of an inconsistent because of this um, popping in and out of your life so if this is somebody that you just met too i would think about it or um holds back on you know giving being so giving um so yeah that is what i'm getting but let's see give me more of this restricted restricted with the hangman so they could be just feeling a bit restricted because they might be having other things going on could be doing other you know like restricted by their circumstances they can't really have something serious or maybe they're just trying to feeling stuck for some of you let's see what is this breakthrough breakthrough so there is something here happening behind the scenes that you might not even know or if you have put your foot down if this is somebody from the past that you're inquiring about there is something here happening behind the scenes breaking away if you've been also really keeping your silence and keeping you know um how do i say putting boundaries up really staying doing the right thing for your own good then there is something good happening behind the scenes let's see what is this juggling maybe some of you are learning about your um soul's purpose you know your spiritual getting more into your spiritual teachings or maybe learning your spiritual path give me more of this juggling So someone here, I feel like they they fear they are they they could be feeling stuck right now. I feel like things are happening behind the scenes right now uh, for your highest good. But I feel like right now somebody here is juggling, not knowing how to make this work. They fear they have they probably do not trust. Or maybe you're the one that is not trusting of them. Not very trusting that this could work out. So they keep going back and forth. Of maybe even wondering how this could even work. If you both could collaborate. If you'll probably be up. If you'll be up for it. Yeah. I feel like someone here is holding back. You must have started holding back your love. Or you're not giving they're not giving so freely i feel like this is them they're not giving so freely but they do plan on collaborating with you but i feel like if this is somebody that from your past i feel like you don't trust them you have already made your mark on the sun you know like you're putting up a boundary because they have hurt you in the past and they might be thinking that you're not going to listen to them you're not going to want to see you know work things out mm -hmm. although that's what they love about you but this is what i feel here that they're holding back still um give me more of this courtship
Maybe you broke through. They kept you stuck before. You broke out of this. Yeah. Kind of seems like you took on too much for them. They might have taken you for granted. And they didn't, you know, give you um, the same energy as you gave to them. And they didn't give, you know, there was no courtship. There was no um, giving freely from their part. So you probably took on a lot of... I feel like this is past energy though. Um, for some of them, they might be holding back for right now, but they are planning on coming around. They know that you're going to be, you're going to have a wall up though. If this is someone new, I feel like this person is actually very, um, they have the wall up. They have the wall up and um, they don't know if this is even going to work out. So they keep going back and forth. Some of them are just very restricted um, with some kind of circumstances in their life. They have something else going on. That's why they cannot have anything more. They, they might be feeling too, for most of you, new or old, um, if you're here for new or old, they feel like they can't give a lot to you. They can't give freely because... Um, is just too much on their plate right now. They have too much on their plate. So that's why they have to hold back on the whole courtship and stuff like that. So that's why their intentions are to to be popping in and out, which I do not like at all. Okay, so they might be juggling work too because we have work and they probably are blocking this because they have too much going on like i said too much of a burden if they try and start something here this could be either or old or new that is what i have here i don't know why i only got one for here but it's pretty obvious why they're restricted they just feel stuck i feel like it's more of their circumstances give me more of this hangman Okay, so somebody here feels betrayed. Betrayed. Maybe they're stuck here trying to get over something, trying to release themselves from another situation if this is someone new. Um, or there is betrayal here. Somebody here overcompromised themselves too. Like they, you, I feel like you compromised way too much because you were too giving. I do feel for most of you, this is somebody from your past. Um, but I try to relate it to both. So I hope you didn't get confused there. Okay, so that is what I have for this pile. I do see a lot of fire, earth, um, Taurus, Pisces, um, air signs, Cancer. Yep, that is what I have. Fire, a lot of fire, air, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep going. Okay, the red pile. Let's see what we have for the red pile. We'll look into their intentions in a bit. Queen of Wands. Mirror. The Magician, the Mirror. Iolus, inspiration, courage, sun, and stars. Ooh. Okay, so we have the sun and stars here. Let's start over here. The sun and stars. You might be an astrologer, really into the stars, you know. Um, but I feel like you are the type of person, well, they love, what they love about you is that you're the type of person that really how do i say stand while well, you stand out from the crowd you know <laughs> that's what the reading is about though um it's someone that is very how do i say um very warmth very happy very optimistic um you know you shine bright with this with the sun here because the sun is standing out i feel with this wand as well you make things happen with the wand maybe you have dreams and you go towards them too like you 
some of your astrologers are really into astrology here. <laughs> Sun and stars, I can't steer away from that. But anyways, I do feel that you see the big picture. You're, you're, you might even be a little dreamy too. You might have Pisces in your chart, like really heavy in your chart. Um, but yeah, what they love about you is that they've never met someone like you. You, you are like the spotlight. You steal the spotlight. Or maybe you are in the spotlight. I don't know. Um, and that's how the, what they love about you. Some of you are mystics here. Mm -hmm. Into the whole spiritual. And they, they love that about you. Some of them know. You just bring that vibe. I feel like you go out there and make things happen like for yourself. You manifest things for yourself. You go out there and you're not afraid to go towards your dreams. You're very inspiring to them. Yeah, and courage. We have inspiration and courage here. So you really, um, even with any kind of challenges or obstacles that come your way, you know how to handle them. And that's what they love about you. Maybe they've noticed this from you. You know, that's what makes you stand out to them. Okay. So maybe you're also somebody that is goes out there and out of your, like, goes out of your way or something about, yeah. But I can't help but notice that there is, um, she's blocking her heart here, like saying, no. You might be also healing or just staying in your space. And that's what they love. I don't know. Or that you have, there's something here about your heart. Maybe you're very loving, but you know when to stop. Maybe you've been very loving, but you know when to stop or something like that. I feel like what they love about you too is that you inspire them. You inspire them to become better. You inspire them in some way. Okay. Um, yeah. Very courageous person. You go out there. You go out of your way or you you step out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And there is another wand. And look at the magician here. The magician is also somebody, you know, magician has a wand. Um, well, has all elements, but still, there is something here about a wand. And then stars, there's stars here. That's, uh, I just noticed that. She who grants wishes. Wow. I feel like this person really loves that you're very desirable or very full of hope because we have hope here. Or you just, you, um, how do I, you're very inspiring. You could also be like very encouraging, very supportive. Somebody that helps someone else, you know, become um, or go towards their dreams. Maybe you've helped them with something or something in that sort. Or maybe even giving them um, some kind of inspiration, like encouraging words, something like that. This is, this, this person, what this person loves about you is that you're like their dream person. It's giving me that. Like they want, or they want to be just like you. There's a mirror here. So you disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently. See? And begin to heal the ultimate mirror. So you've actually kind of brought something within them too it, it's like you you really encourage them in seeing other like a different side of themselves what they can be who they can become you know something like that you're very inspiring to this person wow i love it who are you i love this vibe a lot but you know we have mirror meaning you actually are they want to be like you and they actually are like you because you know um, they see themselves within you and when you see somebody when they are that's why they say that if somebody wants to become 
you know, if you want to become your favorite, I don't know, your favorite um, um, idol, I don't know, who's on TV now? I don't watch that much TV. But if you want to become like this magician, a magician, uh, this um, musician, <laughs> sorry, you know, there is something within you that is just like that person. You're that mirror. You can become that person. Why? Because they inspire you because you have that within you. I love it. Okay. So the magician again, which we have one, two, and three wands here. This person does see you, of course, again, like somebody that can make things happen. Um, very persuasive, like very encouraging, or even has potential to go out there and, and make things happen for themselves. Looks for success. That's what they love about you. Wow. Um, or they've, you know, they've seen this within you. Um, I'm also very alluring energy too. Like you bring in people. You're very friendly, communicative because a magician is like Mercury ruled. So very communicative, a very um, easygoing person. Which is a queen of wands as well. Very easygoing person. Very um, like the life of the party or somebody here that is very attractive, very magnetic. Um, you bring people in to you. You could also be somebody that really paints this good image about themselves too. That's what I'm getting. Like you know how to dress for the part. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like if you work at a business or a, a business oriented um, place, you know how to dress well for it. You, you present yourself very well. Wow. So they've noticed that about you for some of you, of course. Um, and that's what they love. And you should embrace this. I forget to tell. I forgot to tell every pile that um, you should embrace that more of yourself very passionate you could be also a very a mystic here mm -hmm. very friendly attractive magnetic okay let's see um their intentions i'm willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you just say something to me oh you might not be talking to this person that's why you're so desirable right now to them <laughs> can you learn to trust me i'm going to be honest with you you're important to me so this person is very yeah you're very important to them i can see that um but if this is someone new it might not resonate but you know you can take the top of course embrace that um show them who you are um, but it kind of seems like this is somebody that is willing to even pick a fight with you just to talk. Just to see if maybe you'll give in to talking. Let's see. Give me more. What do they need to know here for the red? Let's see if we have any more. Um, if any confirmations or anything else here for the red part. The red part. reflection interesting see a mirror so they might be even reflecting on the past or really um interesting really looking going within or they know that you brought out a different side of themselves or you you kind of uh, made them see a different side of themselves we have sacrifice. Give me more for this red heart and the person they're thinking about. Divine feminine. Give me one more. There is a lot of feminine energy here, but it's not gender specific. Okay. Helpless. Interesting. Okay. So let's see. Reflection. Why is reflection here? 
white is reflection here for the red heart. So um, this person probably is trying to just balance themselves, balance every area of their life, or trying to um, just do what they need to do, focused, yeah. I feel like they are going back and forth, not knowing what to do. They are going within. It kind of seems like they're trying to just balance their own emotions right now because they've realized maybe this is an ending. Yeah, somebody here has leveled up. Here with the Divine Feminine, it's not gender specific, but somebody here has leveled up. I do feel like maybe somebody here was very um, giving. Maybe you were overcompromising. And there was an ending here. So they keep going back and forth. There was an ending to a cycle. And they are now reflecting on it. Of everything that you've gone through with this person. So give me more of this sacrifice. Yeah, it kind of seems like you are getting over this. Like you had to, they know that you had to give up on this and that you had to get over it. Like maybe you are also getting, it seems as if this person kind of didn't know that they were giving up on you. Like they gave they kind of, um, how do I say, they sacrificed you in order to get attention from others or something like that. That's probably for a couple of you, not all of you. Yeah, I feel like this person is actually willing to even come and, you know, come in and apologize or show something before you even, like, really give up on. They know that you sacrificed a lot or you gave a lot of yourself. And now that you're you're done, you're moving on, it kind of seems like they want to follow or they want to overcome some kind of um, some kind of obstacle that they had with you. Like they want they want attention from you. But for some of you, this is probably for like one or two people. This is what I'm getting as well. Is that for some of you, they're going to actually make you to get your attention. They're going to, they can be like risking it and making you jealous too. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like to get your attention, they're going to be flirting in front of you, flirting or just doing something so you can see but they realize they're realizing that if they do that they might even you know lose you completely or something like that that's probably for a couple of you that is very childish i know but i don't know why that came to me for um but i feel like they see you getting over this like you had to actually give up and that was a big sacrifice for you and they know it Okay, give me more of this Divine Feminine. Like you had to sacrifice your love, you know, the love that you felt for them in order to move on. Give me more of this Divine Feminine. Yeah, see, they are trying to get more information on you. They're probably lurking, you know, trying to um, probably look into your social medias or stuff like that see this is my lurking card too because you see how you s see someone here just lurking behind the tree yeah anyways i do feel that this person this is also both social media okay online the world web you know so i do feel like this person is <laughs> stalking you or something i feel like they've learned a harsh lesson with you too and i feel like you've learned a very big lesson with this person that's why you're not giving in to them that's why they're lurking give me more of this helpless wow number two is this pile is 
yeah they're helpless right now um the four of pentacles could be a little bit of like um possessiveness like they can't really do anything about it that they have to hold back they could even become a little bit um i'm sensing a little bitter for some reason i know that's not the tradition the traditional um meaning but i do sense that yeah let's see give me more on this kind of seems like they're trying to hold back but that's because they don't know how to come towards you they feel helpless see five of pentacles they feel helpless they feel like you've left them out in the cold and all they have is snooping around <laughs> sorry i don't mean to laugh but that's all they can do right now they feel helpless like stuck they can't move um it's like kind of they're kind of mad because they can't really do anything or they won't but they do want to come towards you but they won't they could also be very stubborn and we're very um n limited like very a lack mentality i feel like it's more of a lack mentality i know the five of pentacles is not anything air but to me it is it feels like this feeling of victim mentality like wow i could have had this but i messed up i'm such a loser i'm such a you know something like that yeah and that's why they have to hold back wow okay so that is what i have for this pile okay so we have um air we have gemini taurus leo aquarius scorpio earth pisces leo air i mean earth sorry could be air of course um gemini virgo we have leo fire signs here okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and let's move forward the green pile okay let's see what we have for the green pile Okay, so their intentions we'll look at that right now so we have the ace of swords the fool fearless oh what they love about you is that you're fearless you're mm, somebody a planner <laughs> you could be a planner let's see fire magic meditation peace oh very loyal because the dog is standing out um very loyal person what they love about you here i feel like very passionate too but you know first thing that i got here is that you both are completely like you both balance each other out like maybe one of you is very um lax and the other person is very fiery very passionate passionate in nature and it kind of seems like when something goes haywire, like there is there is somebody kind of evens out the other person. Like somebody could be very patient, very, you know, um, grounded, peaceful. And, you know, water also um, puts down the fire. So it's like you both balance each other in a way. So that's what they love about you, that you balance them out. You could be completely different or react to situations in a completely different way. Okay, but I'm also sensing that you bring this peace into their life with the in with your energy here. Your energy is so powerful, very um how do I say um magnetic, very your fireball that's what i'm getting here you could be just fire sign but <laughs> fire signs are passionate here okay so hmm very creative could bring out a lot of creativity creative ideas um again inspiring we had that i think the last two piles too so there's a lot of fiery energy here in all the and on all these piles anyways we have um 
I feel like you bring this sense of peace and serenity into their life. Why? Because you're so loyal. You could be a very loyal person and they know that. You bring a sense of abundance, like having enough. That's what I get because the fishes are sending out too. We have she who prepares somebody that is a strategizer, like somebody that strategizes everything, puts a, you know a plan in place or in, and goes for it. Here is ready, is ready for anything, but they it has there has to be like a plan. This is someone that plans that prepares for what's next, um, because it's a, she who prepares. She who prepares, um, that's what I'm getting. Let's see. We have fearless. So you could be very, says, you are bold about your joys in life, making you more vivid and alive to those around you. See, teaching them to take more risk in life. See, you, you're fearless, but at the same time, you I don't know. At the same time, they they love that you also are prepared for anything. Yeah. So you could be very um, a planner. Maybe even go out, goes out and makes things happen, and you don't even fear of any obstacles, any challenges. You just go for it. Um, yeah, I'm very bold too very bold with whatever makes you happy and really you teach those you teach you have taught this person that you're thinking about how to take more risk in life how to go out there and make things happen for themselves feel that too and that's what they love that's what stands out from you that you're different nobody else does that for them seems like so Again, you're very spontaneous or you just have this unwavering faith. The fool is somebody that has unwavering faith. You know, they jump off a cliff and don't don't even care where they're going to land. You know, that's having full like faith here. You could also be a little childlike, probably bring out the child in them or, um, you know, somebody that has um, that child mind, you know, how children they just forget oh, okay well you know um they could be mad one minute and uh 10 minutes later they're just up running around or not even 10 minutes <laughs> you know so the fool also is somebody that is very impulsive um goes out carefree attitude fearless definitely fearless doesn't care about the obstacles doesn't care about the risks they're very um risk takers so they yeah you bring in this innocence to yourself too for some of you the ace of swords is very very cutting too very clear with their words they're very truthful and they look for justice like um they're very fair and they keep it that way oh you might have um yeah Yeah, Ace of Swords. I don't know why Pluto and Libra came up, but be I have that placement. So you look for um, justice. So that's what they love about you, that you're very fair. and um, Or maybe you just look for justice. You stand up for what is right. The, the Ace of Swords does come out in the Justice card. Um, that's why. So you stand maybe even stand up for what's right with you and you speak your truth or um you cut through the whole confusion if something here is confusing confusion confusing you sorry i can't speak um you cut through with communication very straightforward you could be a bit analytical but yeah you bring out the facts and you know you're very good with your words could be too yeah okay what are their intentions here let's go out for a drink careful not to have regrets the next morning hmm this looks like a their intentions could be that they might want to get into your bed if you know what i mean well duh 
we have i'm deciding to stay single i can't handle anything serious at the moment mm. so yeah it does seem like a booty car or something like that okay so just be careful if that's not what you're looking for um let's see any extra messages here any confirmations any confirmations manifesting trust and believe that see there is something here about loyalty and the unwavering um, faith here too so there could be something here about maybe someone here wanting to manifest and make something happen to past life this could be a past life connection you've known this person from a past life manipulation oh i don't like that one okay let's get into it and see what this is what is this manifesting what's this manifesting Why is manifesting here? Ooh, this is manipulation. So be careful because this person is going to make you probably think by the looks of it is that they're going to make you think that this could go somewhere. Okay, this could go creating this illusion that it can go somewhere. So be careful okay um yeah or maybe this has already happened because they do see you as somebody that cuts through confusion and is very straightforward yeah for some of you this has already happened and you've blocked this out there's been a lot of manipulation here for some of you if this is somebody from past um this could be also this could if this is someone new that you're here for this could be somebody from a past life and this has already happened in the past life where they've hurt you they've gone through you know they've created some kind of illusion for you and they they've hurt you so many times so there's unfinished business what is this trust and believe there is a lot of i want to say doubt here so if someone fearing the worst that this is not going to come true because you've gone through a lot of manipulation with this person give me more of this trust and believe two of pentacles that one came out the last time too so there is let's see i feel like some of you are needing to really connect with source here i don't know why the infinity sign is is standing out but it seems as if trust your intuition with this person okay because this person is not somebody that is going to is going in all like to have something serious you, although you've known them from a past life but we've known a lot of people from a past life you know uh, if you believe in that okay because you know sometimes we come in this lifetime to finish up contracts too i believe it so i believe it so much in past life so but i feel like uh trust and believe trust your intuition because if this person is you know have other priorities or has too much to do um they might not follow up and they with you like they won't this is somebody that could be a bit immature okay it's not gender specific either anybody can be immature so yeah i feel like it's more of you trusting your intuition here give me more of this past life give me more of this past life i've been wanting to do a past life reading but i'm not sure yet let's see the knight of wands yeah whoa mm -hmm. give me more of this past life yeah i feel like there has been unfinished business here <laughs> 
a lot of inconsistencies. There could have been a third party in a past life. This person was a player in a past life. Um, <laughs> wow. So let's see. Give me more of the Three of Cups with this past life. So this happened in the past life too. If it's happening now, that hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe, yeah, there's a lot of immature communication, not knowing what they want. Jeez. <laughs> you're probably also looking, you're probably not even trusting this person and you're looking, lurking around and, and wanting to know more about this person, what they do, if it's true that they're doing what they say they're doing because they're not following up with you or you know they're not having a clear communication with you or the the communication is kind of um it's okay there's communication there but it's not the best i feel because there could be some inconsistency here uh, give me more of this manipulation eight of cups Okay, so leaving any emotional baggage behind. Somebody here wants to walk away from manipulation or people that drain them and really find their independence. Or if this is someone from the past that you've been dealing with, like um, just this lifetime, of course, um, you are walking away from this because the whole manipulation mind games not following up being in and out of a cycle has gotten you and you're walking away from that baggage and really finding your independence from this and that's why they're seeing you in this way because you've cut through the illusion you're very that's what they love about you is that you're very direct very um truthful and you find justice like for yourself you know you do this for yourself or there is something here about you being very truthful and direct and saying what you you know doing what you say or something like that okay i don't know who this is there's so many messages so just uh if it applies mm, then great if it doesn't i'm sorry but i'm getting s different messages here okay so i'm trying to just pinpoint if this is new or old and i can't i feel like for some of you this is new and for half of you, it's old. So I do sense that there has been some inconsistency or maybe it's a, both of you are starting out, but in a past life, this person has done you wrong, I feel. And you came into this lifetime to reconnect again and learn from this cycle that you've gone through with them. But trust your intuition because I do have a trust believe. Maybe the energy is just not grounded yet between you both at all. Like there's nothing that really grounds this situation here because there's barely even pentacles here. So, um, so this person probably wants to go out, have fun. For right now they can't take anything serious or they don't want anything serious they can't handle anything serious okay so they will be asking you out to go have fun okay so really have faith some of you have not healed yet from the past for some of you this is new of course because we have the full and the ace of swords too Anyways, that is what I have. Okay, I hope that helps somebody get some insight. Okay, so let's see. We have Virgo, we have Water, Gemini, Sag, and Scorpio, Aries, or just Fire Signs, Earth Signs, Water, Air. Okay, so it doesn't matter um, the sign. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh yeah, Aries, Pisces, and Air here. Let's keep going. Okay, blue. What do we have for the blue? Or bluish purple. Let's see. We'll look at their intentions after. We have Six of Pentacles. The Hangman. Unassuming. Okay. 
what they love about you is that you don't assume right away or you're very fierce justice oh you might you might resonate with the last pile so we had something about justice giving justice something i don't know figure it out okay <laughs> we have prosperity abundance and affirmation for acceptance oh you're a very grounded person you probably have a lot of earth in your chart very grounded person or you could have air um okay yeah very grounded i'm feeling more of a earth earthy person somebody that enjoys life the good things in life we have prosperity and abundance which brings a message of you know having what you need you know um success success in life or just having having something to offer i don't know you just love the the how do i say the the life the the good things in life she's she has wine she has a cake there mm -hmm. and you're just yeah very grounded person you, this really reminds me of the empress you might have taurus or um libra in your chart interesting because that is what i said it was earth and air anyways affirmation for acceptance so yeah you just accept what what is you know it is what it is and you accept it you keep yourself grounded in where there is a lot of chaos here you keep yourself grounded you don't let um your mind kind of wander or get into these crazy thoughts so if that's not that's what they love about you so when everything is going up in smokes and up you know like chaotic you keep yourself grounded you try to stay away maybe i don't know this is what they love about you so if that's not you uh you might want to choose another pile because this is specific this is somebody that accepts knows how to accept the situation you know doesn't yeah doesn't just is somebody that just um accepts anything here i don't know how else to explain it okay so we have she who battles okay but you could also be somebody that if somebody pushes you to that limit um you will say what you have in your mind you know you're very committed as well like committed to yourself very fierce you will put your boundaries up stand your ground yeah this is somebody that is committed to themselves and they will fight for themselves giving themselves justice giving themselves you know cut through the whole um illusion yeah but very fair because we have justice you're very fair mm -hmm. you could be very focused too you know maybe accepting what is and not you know standing your ground we have unassuming you're out outwardly soft and gentle your power is in in silence you are non-reactive and create stillness making you stand out from the crowd see you're very again but if somebody messes with you, you will stand your ground. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're ready for war. She who battles. It's not gender specific. But yeah, if somebody just pokes you enough, you will wake up. You know, like you'll say something. But you stay grounded. Your silence is very powerful. That's what they love about you. Maybe they won't tell you, but they do. That's what they love. So we have the hangman. The hangman brings, um, oh, you might be a Pisces, but too. Anyways, the hangman is somebody that, of course, compromises or maybe even over compromises at times. Maybe also um, sacrifices himself because the hangman is somebody that is sacrificing themselves. Um maybe you see things from a different perspective like you you make them see life from a different 
perspective or situations yeah you see like the bigger picture that's why you're very accepting you don't assume things as well you know and that's what they love about you like you even give up control because the hangman doesn't have control of where they're at with the six of pentacles you could also be very generous very considerate very um hmm very giving but again fairness you know justice we have the justice skills here as always with the six of pentacles but you could also be very um maybe a service to others you're always there for them mm, you yeah but you know i'm also getting with these two together it kind of seems like you've compromised way too much and that's what they love about you is that maybe you're too generous you're too willing to to compromise with them or maybe they've even taken your 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 giving for granted okay but if this is someone new this is what what they love about you that you're very generous and you're always there but the same for somebody that um in your past like an ex or something you've over compromised and they love that about you that you're very giving you probably even have that acts of service um love language like you buy people stuff you know you buy their love something like that but hopefully not okay because you know sometimes people are taken for granted i used to be that person i am that is my love language is giving um giving of things buying things like money is not for me i don't care how much it costs you know like if someone loves something i'll buy it for them you know like that is my love language um aside from you know uh, you know somebody that needs me i'll be there of course but sometimes i have you know you can be taken for granted trust me it doesn't people do take advantage of that okay so let's see we have i'm going to continue to play mind games i can't make you think you have me completely wow so this person does you know is very invested in you but they don't want you to think that so they're going to be playing mind games. Those are their intentions. Despite what's happening between us, I still believe we can make a great couple in the future. So if this is somebody from the past, they still feel that there could be something in the future between you both. If this isn't something somebody from the past, they have seen you, you know, they they believe that maybe this could ha something long term can happen. But they don't want you to think that you have they're fully invested in you okay <laughs> okay so let's see let's see what else we have here for this pile what do we have for this pile for the bluish any extra messages okay regret so they could be having regrets here maybe there's somebody from the past of course reconsidering and they're reconsidering somebody here regrets taking you for granted because you have over like you over gave um here you were way too generous in your power oh that's why they love this about you because you're in your power that's why they love yeah you accepting somebody in their power does accept the situation as it is you know like somebody in their power is like saying all right then i'm, I'm done happily ever after so they do see so for most of you this is old okay i can't really s steer away from that storyline for most of you okay that is the strongest vibration here the strongest energy so let's see what is this um <clears throat> yeah i can't really turn it around to someone new okay so let's see what are these regrets 
regret, regret. Whoa, they're really re regretting things here with the Nine of Wands. They're even stressing, they're overanalyzing, they're making up stories in their head. Maybe like, um, yeah, like if you're in your power, they might be thinking, oh, they're already with someone else. They got married in Italy and they went to go have babies in Hawaii, you know, something like that. Um, because the Nine of Swords is not, it's like overthinking things that you go from one story to another. Um, so they're in regret here. They're overthinking big time. Yeah. They might be going through some kind of dark night of the soul too, I'm getting. Um, but they are in deep regret. They are wanting to change a situation. Something about an ending, regret of ending things too. But I'm getting more of like, this person is learning the hard way that they need to change their ways um like maybe they're going through a transformation yeah they could also be holding back or getting the courage to come back around because they have be they could be reconsidering things here give me more of this reconsidering it's kind of like they're changing they change they're wanting to change to reconnect they're considering reconnecting or maybe they are in regret because they were how do i say because they let this go oh some of you this was a third party and they chose wrong or they did wrong and now they're in deep regret yep they loved the attention they could also be um, hoping, hoping that th they'll get your attention to re, you know, or maybe that you'll reconsider to reconnect with them too. I'm getting that. For some of you, this was a third party. That's why they're in regret. We have in your power. But they're very optimistic. Maybe they are hoping that you'll reconsider hoping that you'll give them that attention that they crave that they want give me more of this in your power so six of pentacles again see you're a very generous person but now it kind of seems like they want your attention they want you to reach out you're see very this is almost the same energy here very generous very um stable secure within you you probably have your own business a good job a good car you are in your power you're very stable you bring this sense of um someone that provides and can provide for someone else or match someone else's energy whoa give me more of this happily ever after Yeah, you know, they're wishing, they're hoping, they still see a future with you. Big time. That is their wish come true here. They're dreaming about this. Yeah, it's like something here has hit them. Big time. They've had some kind of realization, this aha moment. Yeah, when things ended, they're hoping for the best. They still have hope. They still have faith that this could happen. Um, even, you know, despite everything that has happened, this, this ending between you both, they're still hoping for the best. They're still dreaming about a happily ever after with you. Wow. That is, um, pretty mushy, um, last card, but that's what I see here. Interesting. Okay. So that is what I have. Okay. Hopefully this helped somebody get some insight so we have air we have a uh, scorpio we have pisces we have a lot of earth fire water leo scorpio gemini um we have pisces uh, libra here we have let's see what else libra earth and that's it Thank you so much for watching and I will be back later. Take care of you. Bye.